Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Men of Yoshiwara Kikuya, Forbidden Romance, or Gyakuten Yoshiwara. Now, we are going to pursue Kagura. Now that I feel that I have more of a handle on the individual character's voices, I feel like I can maybe do his story some justice and not be stumbling all over everybody's lines while I'm doing it. So, let us begin. He's, he's the one that I really like. He seems like the, the tall, strong, silent type that I just adore so much. Chapter 1. What do you desire? Um, what's the name of that person who came down the stairs before? It's Kagura. So, he's called Kagura-san. I've only seen him once before, but he was quite striking. If it's okay, could I have a banquet with Kagura-san? Understood. However, well, you see about Kagura... As Iroha-san said that, he looked at me with eyes that seemed to lick me from head to toe. Um, is there a problem? Oh no, it's nothing. Kagura is one of our top gentlemen. I confidently recommend him to you. Well then, I will show you the way. Follow me. Iroha-san said that to me with a smile. He stood up and began to guide me to the back of Kikuya. There was something perplexing about the way Iroha-san was acting, but everything in this place was new to me, so I thought it's useless to worry about it and kept walking with him. This place has often been called the district which knows no night. Though night has already fallen, the inside of the shop is so bright. It's like daytime. No, it's brighter than that and also filled with a mysterious vibrancy. And yet, it seems to be hiding some unfathomed darkness. Was it okay for me to have set foot in this place? Though it's probably too late to think so. That's what I just thought about. What? The door to some room was half opened. It wasn't my intention to peek inside, but my eyes were just drawn in. Ah, uh, this is the room of a gentleman of the night. There was no one in there, but there were many gorgeous pieces of furniture and there was a flashy-looking bed with a flame-like color scheme. What kind of business were people up to every night in here? Even someone like me knew the answer to that. But as I saw this place with my own eyes, I felt its mysterious atmosphere when... Is something wrong? N no it's nothing. I looked down and hastened my pace to pass this place. In that room, will women fall in love before they know it? Will they get serious even though they know it's for play? And will they want to give their everything to a man? That's what I heard. About the Yoshiwara Red Light District. I was told to stay in this room, so I did as I was told and waited when... A gentleman of the night came into the room. Ah, I came in here to see your face again. What? The suddenness of his appearance surprised me. But I found that this person wasn't Kagura-san. This person is definitely the man from the courtesan's procession, Takeo-san. Um, I asked for Kagura. <laughs> I asked for Kagura-san. I know. You don't need to make such a scary face. Is your heart already set on Kagura-san? I'm not saying that. <laughs> You're so absorbed to get embarrassed by something like this. So, what do you want from me? Well, of course. I wanted to get another look at the face of the girl who's choosing the boring old Kagura-san. Instead of choosing me, Takeo-sama, the number one gentleman at this shop. Takeo-san quickly came close to my face. A very beautiful face filled the view before my eyes. His eyes were so beautifully clear, and his glance was terrifyingly strong. That's disappointing. Can you tell me what it is about Kagura-san that's better than me? His eyes, nose, or could it be his lips? As he said that, he was looking at me with eyes that seemed like they were licking me up. I gulped. Or a man's chest. Well, yeah, some women choose a man by things like the way he carries himself. But I know you wouldn't choose someone over those kind of things. Then, Takeo softly put his lips close to my ears, and whispered to me in a low, alluring voice, Because I know you're still a virgin. What? 
My face turned red from embarrassment. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head, eh? What an innocent reaction. You don't see that so often in a place like this. <sighs> How could he say something so rude? What he's saying isn't wrong, but it doesn't make me feel good either. I tried to shake loose from Takeo-san and leave the room. But just then, the door quickly opened. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Allow me, Kagero, to entertain you before Kagero-san arrives. Yet again, the person who came was not Kagero-san. This was the boy who had said I seemed unpopular with men when I chose Kagero-san. This boy had just earlier said such spiteful things to me. But now he was acting like nothing happened. However, as soon as he noticed that Takeo-san was here, something in his eyes changed. What are you doing here, Takeo-san? What? What, you ask? Of course, something interesting. With his beautifully alluring face, Takeo-san narrowed his eyes and gloated. Well, well, you didn't do anything. Well, this lady here, see? She remembered my name, you know. Yes, I did, but... Then try to answer my question. Do you know his name? He's the apprentice of a gentleman you know. I should know it. My memory from before, if I could just reel it in. I became irritated by the provoking way Takeo-san spoke to me. But... What was his name? <laughs> you see? She remembered my name, but she doesn't remember yours. That shows what kind of gentleman you are, Kagero. So what? It's not like that will inconvenience me. Well then, Takeo-san, since I'm here, please leave the room already. Ch, you're a tough little brat. But Takeo-san continued to stay in the room. But, well... Why are you in such a rush to chase me out? No matter what you say, Kagero is still lower ranking than me. As a higher ranking gentleman, I'm offering to entertain the client before Kagero comes, okay? So, you should appreciate that. Your misguidance is troubling. Kagero-san is a top-level gentleman for this shop just as much as you are. So, he doesn't need your help at all. Please return to your room in good conscience. You're always saying such hateful things. And that's why you'll never become a fully-fledged gentleman. <laughs> How much longer will they continue arguing for? As I wondered that... That's enough. I heard a voice from beyond the door, followed by the door opening. Right there was... Kagura-san. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Kagura. Um... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I said that, Kagura politely bowed. Seeing this polite manner of his made me think that my greeting to him was pretty dumb, so I became embarrassed. And as Kagura lifted his head, he glared fiercely at Takeo. Huh, well, I'm going to get going then. Sorry to interrupt, cute miss. Ugh. To finish, Takeo came straight to me and peered at my face. And then he left the room. Kagura-san gave him a stern look as he did this. After making sure that Takeo-san left the room, Kagura-san sat down right next to me and bowed. Sorry for our Takeo's rude behavior. Huh? Lift your head, you don't need to apologize for that. For him to bow to me so readily actually made me confused. So, do you forgive me? Uh, of course! It's not your fault at all, Kagura-san. She's right, it's Takeo-san's fault. Why do you need to lower your head in apology, Kagura-san? Kagura-san made a frustrated face and bit his lips. Um, I'm not really bothered by it all, so... As I said that again, Kagura-san slowly lifted his head. Thank you. Well then, shall we begin the banquet? Yes, of course. The air in the room finally calmed down. Drinks were drunk and songs were sung. And a most dazzling banquet was arrayed before me. A spread of rare dishes and delicious sake were laid out on the tray before me. Young gentlemen and entertainers sang and danced for me. Never before had I seen a world as gorgeous as this. I could just imagine this place to be paradise. 
That's how the dream like this place was. As I thought that, my eyes met Kagura-san's. When our eyes met, he immediately poured sake into my glass. I guess he thought I was pressing him to do so. All that happened was that our eyes met, but I was captivated by his quick and deft movements. Um, I think I've had enough sake. So you will not be drinking anymore? If you don't find the sake to your liking, I can replace it with something else. No, not at all. It's a delicious sake. I'm just not very used to drinking. Well then, I will not impose anything on you. For this time which you have purchased, I will have to entertain you by other means. What else do you desire? Delicious meals, dancing, singing, or... As he said that, Kagura-san lifted his slightly downturned face and finally looked at me. Would you like to head to bed as soon as possible? You may say so without hesitation. Huh? That means... Uh, um, I... I guess that's how it is for all women who have come here. They came and paid much money for that purpose. But I... I started to regret the fact that I sat here without that in mind. Is there something wrong? Is it that I am not to your satisfaction? N no not at all. You're such a wonderful man, Kagura-san. So I actually feel like you're wasted on someone like me. His eyes stared at me with a penetrating look. Unable to get used to the penetration of his look, my breathing became labored. After Kagura-san stared at me for a while, he quickly raised his hand to signal for something. And then... Well then, allow me to excuse myself. The gentlemen around him each bowed and left the room one by one. Um, Kagura-san? No matter how you look at it, it's about time. The parlor suddenly became quiet and bare. Time? For everyone to leave. Well then, this way please. Kagura-san opened a door. And there, beyond the open door, there was a luxurious bed that had been arranged beautifully. My body became stiff and nervous as I wondered what might happen after this. What should I do? In any case, I need to make some sort of excuse. Um... Let's see... I... Don't have... What should I say? I don't have money for that or I want to go to the bathroom. I don't want to lie and say I have a fiancé. I want to go to the bathroom! <laughs> May I go to the bathroom? Well then, I'll be waiting for you here. You can ask the young gentleman waiting outside of the room to accompany you. Uh, okay. I went through the trouble of telling a lie, but what should I do after this? So, could it be that you said that as an excuse to escape? Uh, um... Then Kagura-san briefly sighed. I won't do anything that you don't like. I have no need to do that. This is the red light district. It is our job to sell dreams. I will only give pleasant dreams to the clients that come here. That is my duty. So then it wouldn't be a problem if I went back? What Kagura-san was saying made sense to me, so there was no need for me to be nervous, but his eyes really did feel as if they were fiercely penetrating through to my heart. And that is... That is up to you. I will not pursue you nor chase you. But that's a very cold statement. And his eyes are also very cold. And that also goes for the reverse. I am not moved by money alone. I am fulfilling my personal duty to be honest in my heart. Kagura-san. His eyes were unwavering. Conversely, seeing those eyes of his made my heart sway. What would you like to do? At this point, you can still switch to another gentleman. It pained me to hear him say that. I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know the world captured in his eyes and his unshaken spirit. I thought that I wanted to see these together. N no I'm not... I will not change my choice. I will never do that. Chapter 2 A Gentleman of the Night why are you being so nervous? 
Kagura-san kept calm to the end. He talked back to me with an indifferent tone. When I said that I'll never change my choice, there are clients that say they don't like me. They say they don't like a guy who isn't talkative. If I don't flirt with them, they question why they came here. I understand why they feel that way, but there are also some clients that like me this way. I wonder why, but despite him saying it in a very calm manner, it made me feel a sharp pain in my chest. You came all this way to the red light district, so you should let loose a little more. You don't have any reason to be on your best behavior in a place like this. His glare was still cold. It's not like I'm trying to be on my best behavior. So, you're just not used to this place. Kagoro-san cocked his head to the side while keeping his indifferent expression. It may be because I'm not used to this kind of place. And perhaps it's because I didn't prepare myself for this. I just came here on an errand. And Iroha-san had just invited me to a banquet. So I didn't prepare anything for this. I see. Kagura-san looked down as if he had said that. Well then, I would like to reconfirm. Are you saying that you have no intention for your skin to lay upon mine tonight? Yes. For tonight. What would you like to do? Kagura-san tried to probe my feelings with his sharp gaze. I... I... I will only commit with someone who I truly love. Who you truly love? Yes, someone who I don't mind losing everything for. That's how much we'll love each other. We'll love each other more than anything else. And when we feel that our feelings alone are just not enough, that's when we will unite as one. I think this is the way to commit with someone who I truly love. Before I knew it, I had been really putting emphasis on this. To someone who was doing the exact opposite as his job. I may have offended him. Kagoro-san listened intently to what I was saying, without once changing his expression. Uh, um, so... I would like to go back home tonight. Would saying that to him so directly cut us off from each other in the future? No, but... For some reason I didn't feel like that would happen. Kagoro-san... Thank you so much for today. I bowed deeply to Kagura-san. I didn't know the cherry blossoms bloomed so beautifully and fascinatingly at night. In the daytime, they were just gorgeous. They would sometimes look like cute hair ornaments for children. But the cherry blossoms at night, especially here in, in Yoshiwara, they emit an eerie glamour. Kagura-san told me to check out the town of Yoshiwara at this time with my own eyes. He told me that, but... Kagura-san, Kagura-san, thank you for going out of your way to send me off. Thieves sometimes appear around here. It's dangerous for you to walk around at night. I know. I'm sorry to take up your time. No, it's fine. I started to regret staying for such a long time. We finally arrived at the gate. But... Huh? The gate is closed! Just as I thought. You didn't know there was a closing time, did you? Kagura-san, you knew that? Uh, you should have told me that. <laughs> you should have told me that. Even if I did tell you, I don't think that you would have accepted that. Sometimes it's better to confirm things with your own eyes. That may be true, but... So... This means I won't be able to go back tonight, right? You could say it would be safer not to go back tonight. If you would like to go back and forth along a dangerous road at night, I won't stop you. I will let you decide if you will be going back to my room or not. If you're a smart woman, then I guess the answer is clear, though. The way he said that was kind of mean, but it looked like that was my only choice tonight. There was nothing that could be done with the gate being closed. So I went back into Kagura-san's room. I didn't expect that I would be returning once more to this gorgeous room. But the warmth of people had already vanished from this room. It was glamorous yet shady. Luxurious yet somewhat sad. Originally this was a place where people would desire, take, and crave each other. 
but with the feeling that this purpose had not been fulfilled, the air in this room felt very cold. It has become quite cold. While saying that, Kagura-san was skillfully making the bed. As you can see, only one bed has been prepared. Well then, what will you do? How will I spend my night in this room? My mind overreacted to this one question. I chose my words carefully to answer him. I want to take a rest in this room tonight. For some reason, I feel very tired today. Well then, I will let you do that. A gentleman's job is to give the client what they desire. Since you said that you just want to take a rest, I will allow that. Do you always serve clients like this? Kagura-san? What do you mean, like this? I mean, are you always obedient to what that client asks of you? Of course not. I have my self-respect as a man, and feelings that money can never buy. But, as I am working here, I also have pride in this job, too. I thought that a gentleman of the night was just a man who entertained and slept with women to make money. I was touched. He was working here with his pride as a man and a human being. What happened? You look like you're not all there. You should go to bed. Soon. It's just that I listened to your story. I was surprised by the many things I discovered. My story? Kagoro-san furrowed his brow into what appeared to be a profoundly puzzled expression. Yes, you live in a world that I've never known before, Kagoro-san. So you have a very different set of values and your own strong beliefs. To me, it's dazzling. As I said that, Kagoro-san then seemed surprised and made a strange face. Uh, um, have I said something rude? No. I've never met a girl who has spoken to me with such an innocent face like yours. How have you come to survive this long, being that vulnerable? Are you being sarcastic? If I was being sarcastic, I would say it with more indifference. So? To me, you are also dazzling. My heart suddenly began to beat faster. A strong glance stared at me like I was really dazzling. All the clients who come here might say that was a trick to charm you. As he said that, Kagura-san quietly approached me. Then he pulled my hand. Kagura-san? Is this what it feels like to have my heart jump out of my mouth with surprise? I felt strangely nervous and thirsty. But when I thought that I wanted to touch your cheeks, I was unsure what excuse I could use. Even if I said it's not a trick, who would actually believe me? Kagura-san gently narrowed his eyes and looked up at me, ever so quietly. The palms of his hands extended out to my cheeks. I should have not wanted him to do anything, but somehow, I was waiting. For the palms of his hands to reach my cheeks. Is it okay? Is it okay for me to surrender to him like this? I need to calm down. Kagura-san, wait! Um... I'll say dot dot dot. <laughs> Perhaps he felt something since I didn't say anything. So Kagura-san quietly withdrew his hand. The strength of his hand that grabbed me quietly loosened. It seems that I'm not acting like myself tonight. He sighed in a silently self-deprecating manner and whispered, Though it's rare, perhaps I've become drunk. And then he kept quiet for a while. It appeared that he was thinking about something. As for me, the inside of my head felt confused. My heart continued to beat intensely, and it was difficult to breathe. After that, Kagura-san silently took away the tray with the sake on it. Then he bought it next to the bed and put it down neatly. I want to talk to you tonight. Will you keep me company? Huh? I honestly didn't expect him to say something like that, so I was really surprised. They say that the women on this island naturally become strong. You aren't an exception, but... Your strength is very attractive. Kagura-san gave me a cup. I naturally took the glass in hand as it was given to me, and he poured sake to the brim of the cup. Don't worry, I'm not going to seduce you. I just want to get to know you more. It's the same as one's studies. You've piqued my interest, so I want to know more. 
That's all. Kakura-san's eyes were shining. He poured sake into his cup, raised it up a bit in display, and then swiftly downed it. He looked happy. Seeing that face of his removed any suspicions that I had about him. Oh well then, bottoms up. I drank the sake that he poured into my cup. I'm not a very strong drinker, and I'm not used to drinking like Kagura-san is. But maybe because Kagura-san opened his heart a little, I felt the sake's flavor melting into my heart. Since you've walked to the gate before, you may have sobered up by now. You should get used to the sake little by little. Okay. Kagura-san smiled at me a little. It was different from his previous smiles. It had a gentle and sad feeling. If I had said that it's not a trick, then I guess that would mean he seduced women with his natural-born talents, wouldn't he? It's actually scary, but it might be the reason that he's able to survive in Yoshiwara as a gentleman. You should stretch your legs out. Didn't you say you were tired? He said so as he poured sake into my cup. I felt uncomfortable for some reason, so I sat down quietly on the corner of his glamorous bed. Okay, just a little. Don't worry, I'm not trying to do anything. Y yes You were so vulnerable, and then you were really cautious. What a mysterious person. I- I'm normal. You're the one who's mysterious. Kagura-san. So I guess we're both new to each other. That's true. Uh, at least for me, that is. So, what are you interested in? For some good conversation to go with our sake, I think we should talk about something that you're interested in. Something that I'm interested in? I guess I'm interested in you, Kagura-san. So, I want you to talk about something that you like. What I said might have been unexpected to Kagura-san, so he blinked his eyes. Are you trying to make me fall for you? Huh? I had no such intention to do that. Now it was my turn to blink my eyes. I get more and more confused about you. You told me not to lay my hands on you, but then you also said you were interested in me. Kagura-san looked troubled and knitted his brow. Have I troubled you? No, but... If I talk about what I'm interested in, you may find it boring. Oh no, not at all. I asserted as much, but... Then I will talk about a field that I put most of my effort into. Is that okay for you? Yes, I'm looking forward to hearing it. I've been learning Western studies from a Westerner. It's actually quite interesting to me. But there are some questions as to how it will help me entertain clients. That's what Iruha-san and all the other gentlemen said to me. But that's not what it's about for me. To start, human beings are creatures that have a desire to improve and grow themselves. I really didn't expect him to talk about studies. This is the red light district. So I guess I was expecting something a little less dull. Of course I didn't understand anything about his studies. I guess I was also tired from this hectic day. So before I knew it, I fell asleep. Alright, that is the end of our first video together with Kagura-san. His voice is really difficult for me to do because I wanted to do like a smooth but deep voice, but then I keep ending up my, my voice wants to go gravelly or crack. <laughs> so I'm trying to do my best with him to make him sound cool, but I don't know if it's working that well. But I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best and keep trying as hard as I can. Ah, Alright, well, I know I'm not quite doing him justice, but like I said, I'm trying. Alright, so I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show your support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. To really signing out. Bye bye everybody.